Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Deja. This video is going to be over Resident Evil Director's Cut on a PS1 emulator. Starting off with that, we're going to be using Cheat Engine for this one. I start off with Cheat Engine, and the one I'm using is 64B. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to change into bytes. Because the digit number we're going to be changing is only t uh, two digits. Then I'm going to the Windows list onto the Cheat Engine and selecting my PS1 emulator I will be using onto my PC. As you can see, onto the first item that we have is the clip for the weapon. I'm going to use the handgun here to minimize the amount of ammo that I have and I'm going to combine it into the handgun. What I did first, I did a first scan and then after shooting the gun, what I did, I did my next scan. And what I did, I did another scan until the inventory address box is minimized here. As you see, I have two left and what I did is I pressed the enter button by selecting them. What I did is I control A to select them. Then I press the enter and change the value. Now I have 255 ammo. Next I right click my mouse, select type, and change to array of byte. Right now it shows 10. If you would like to do the entire inventory, I would not go any higher than 23 on the byte selection for the inventory and now I'm going to change a weapon and I'm going to change the knife into the RPG for the game and what I also did is onto the cheat engine the first one that shows is the item number and next to it is the amount of ammo that you have for that selected weapon now I'm going to the storage bin and we're going to change it to another item. I picked up another ammo clip from there and we're going to change that into another item. First what I'm going to do, I'm going to change into another weapon. And to do so, I'm going to test out each hex number and then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to see what it changes to. This time we're going to be using, and to change it to the shotgun, after changing that into the shotgun, I'm going to go right back to cheat engine, and this time we're going to change it into a, another item. You can change it into a weapon or a health item, and this time I changed the first aid spray. We cannot use one right now because Chris has full health. Now we're back with and I'm going to demonstrate how you can get the bazooka and other additional items for her. First we're going to do is I've already maxed out her ammo for her inventory just like I did before with Chris and now I'm going to go back to Chi Engine. I'm going to change two of her items a health item and a weapon. I changed to mix herbs and bazooka. And what I'm going to do for those two items, like I did for the first time, go to the storage bin to make sure that everything has changed into the selected item that you want. Now I'm going to go ahead and equip the bazooka, and then voila, it has changed. Now we're going to change the bazooka into the magnum. And we're going to use 0 5. Zero 0A is for the RPG and zero 05 is for the Magnum. To make sure that it changes to the Magnum, equip the weapon, then go to the storage bin, and then put everything back into the storage box, and then there you go. That is it of how to change items in inventory for Resident Evil Director's Cuts. 
feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And also, if you would like to see another Resident Evil tutorial, give a comment and give a like to the video.